Hey guys, it was brought to my attention uh, in response to my first video that my card was quote unquote broken and uh, nobody likes to hear that. You know, I'm, I'm starting to look at my scores, what was going on with it. And yeah, it looks like my benches were completely invalidated because uh, my boost base or my boost core was not where it should be. It looks like I was still getting, uh, even though I used DDU, um, even though I you know, manually installed the device drivers for this card, it looks like for some reason my, uh, my boost and my core clocks were still matched and paired with my 4070 Super, uh, which was the previous card. Like, that's insane. Now, I have already tried doing uh, DDU again. Uh, reinstall drivers, uninstalled NVIDIA. Uh, still has not fixed that. So, we're going to do a different fix here uh, and give this a shot and see if this works. So, we're going to go into command prompt as admin. So, we type in CMD down at the bottom of the bar. When we see command prompt here, we're going to run as admin. Now, let me zoom in a little bit here for you guys. All right, we're gonna type in NVIDIA dash SMI space dash dash reset dash GPU dash clocks. All done. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing for the memory clocks. So NVIDIA dash SMI space space dash dash reset memory clocks. All done. NVIDIA base clocks. Now let's see if this actually gets us to the factory. I think it's like 2295. Let's see. Yep. All right. 2295. Okay. Which is uh, going to give us way better scores than what we were even seeing yesterday. Um, let me let me see exactly where I was yesterday. Um, gosh, where is my benchmarks? There we go. Okay. So Cyberpunk stock. DLSS quality, no frame gen. We were at 45.5. Let's go ahead and open Cyberpunk up and see what we're getting now. This is no overclock. I don't even have MSI open. No curves. There's no auto auto tune with uh, NVIDIA. This is just pure, pure out of the box stock. And what we're trying to do is get higher than our stock frames per second here maybe even getting to where our overclock was with no clock which means hey we got a lot more headroom to work with which is great and we you know kind of lightly fixed the, the issue you know uh, okay Settings, graphics, I haven't touched it. Exactly the same, frame chain off, quality, blah, blah, blah. Let's run that benchmark and see. See if this issue has been fixed. And then I'm going to have to restart the computer multiple times to verify that I held the base clock and the core clocks and the memory clock. But as long as it held, that means you guys are watching this video now. I'm not going to post this video unless it actually held and the issue's been fixed. Um, I can already see right now, um, I mean, we're in the 50s. So it looks like that did fix the issue. I don't think it's going to be as high as when we overclocked, but but still, it was pro it was a fake overclock anyway. It was just giving us back the power that we were supposed to have had stock to begin with. Yeah, we went a little over it, but but still, uh, we shouldn't have to do that. So now I get to overclock my card from the beginning again, uh, which I mean it's kind of exciting because now I get to see the actual true. 
power of this card since I was limited or handicapped uh, the first time. Fifty six point three five. Well, that's almost right where our overclock was, and we don't have a clock turned on right now at all. Like, wow. So okay, that fixed the issue so far. Um, let me go ahead and do some restarts, and uh, I'm going to pause this video. I'll continue the video. Like I said again, if you guys are watching this video, that means that it held, and everything's working great, and I can actually start my overclock moving forward. All right, we're back. I've done four different restarts. Each time I go in here, opening up command prompt again, running as admin, and we're typing in... NVIDIA dash SMI dash base dash clocks and hey it held it locked we're golden again all right so this is where we should have been when we originally started anyway it looks like that fixed the issue so we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab our overclocks from here moving forward to see exactly what kind of performance we can get uh, just to show that this is running faster in another game as well uh, let's open up um, let's open up our benchmarks image one more time. Uh, which of these were giving us really low before? Warhammer Space Marines. Okay, let's do that one. No MSI, no overclocks, no curves, nothing. It's just bare bone fucking stock here. Let's see exactly where we lie. All right, DLSS, native, I didn't change anything else, everything else is ultras, high she goes. Let's go ahead and see what we got here, guys. All righty. Oh, yeah, way better. Averaging 72. Oh, it's even better than our overclock. So, yes, this fix worked. Um, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and make another video overclocking after the fix. And we'll see what kind of performance specs that I can get uh, afterwards. Anyway... Really appreciate you guys hanging out here today. Uh, and if you have any other questions or recommendations, let me know. Uh, if it wasn't for um, wasn't for dude giving me some input on my last video, I wasn't happy to see it. But hey, constructive criticism, uh, I'm all for it, man. Especially if it's well founded, and that totally was. So uh, props to uh, props to dude for telling me, um, you know, hey, you you got something going on with your. <laughs> your graphics card I mean he said it was broken like yeah I mean when I hear broken I, I think like hey that's actually going to need like a real fix this was just pretty simple but JKD4568 good work man very good thank you very much appreciate it man uh, you guys take care and uh, again let me know if you need anything else make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah see you on the flip side